editor in VisMe is pretty powerful. It doesn't allow you to just add text, but it allows you to fully style it, change fonts, styles, colors, and even create call to action areas. Let me show you how. So here's a very simple text. Create amazing presentations, infographics, and other engaging content. It's just one font and just one sentence and a couple lines. Let me show you how you can actually style this. So on the left panel under text, you can actually select from different types. You can do regular text, animated text, and also you can tap into our widgets. So let's go ahead and use our widgets and show you how you can do this. I'll go ahead and just drag and drop this one. And then once I release it, I can actually go ahead and size the objects inside of it. So I'll go ahead and move this text here, this shape. So I will size that. And I'm going to take my text bold and let's convert it to something. Now I want to center my text, so I'll go ahead and click the center option. Notice that when I double click a text, it gives me all my font options. Size, uh, font style, size, you can even apply links, bold, center, background, and the font color. So I will go ahead and type in create amazing. And I want to also modify the font here. So let's go ahead and see what we have. On the options of the fonts, I will go down and maybe use Pacifico. And I'll move that down here. And then my next text, I will just go ahead and use this. And I can duplicate that. So let's go ahead and also type in presentations. I'll go ahead and size this text here and also center that. I can go and do the same thing with the next text and in this case I can type in infographics but why don't I just style this one and say click enter and type in infographics because what I can do in VisMe is have control over uh, spacing so I can actually modify the line height if I want to and there's my text here and in this case I can go ahead and change the font to something else but I'll probably stick with the um, the impact font, but I do want to change the color, so I'll select the presentation text. I'll go to my color scheme here and apply on this. And the infographics, I'll go ahead and select something else, such as this one. And now, what I will do is go down and do something with my and text. So, what I'll do is on this one, stretch the text out, maybe change the font size a little bit, and I will go ahead and type in other engaging content. Now I can go ahead and change this font. Notice how I can actually keep this a certain font and I can take this one and stylize it to something else. So let's go to another font option and maybe perhaps we do the ten tenderness font and I will go ahead and also center this one so everything is very nice and balanced. There we go. Alright so what I just did was I took this text, create amazing content, Create amazing presentations, infographics, other visual content. And I just, in just a matter of moments, went ahead and made that into a little bit more engaging text. And I think we need to probably apply a little bit of a different color scheme to this. Perhaps we will go with the uh, lighter version of it, so that looks a little bit better. So there it is. We took this text and we converted it to this one. But it doesn't end there. Let's go to the next aspect of it. Let me show you how you can actually take uh, a regular text box and convert it to an actual button. It's pretty cool. Because in VisMe, you can take every object and you can apply uh, call to action areas. You can apply links and so on. So let's just say that this is a text that you have and uh, you want to convert this into something that's a little bit more uh, engaging such as this. How do we do that? So I'll go ahead and I will create this right under the other object. I'll duplicate this content so I'll use this as a template. I'll go down here and uh, if you notice here when I click my object as a whole I have all these different settings here. So I have a lot of line height so let's go ahead and reduce the line height a little bit and uh, we'll go ahead and also reduce the height of the object a little bit and also I want to make it right justified so what I'll do is I'll take this whole content and go over here and just right justify it alright now how do we add this cool uh, feel of a button to it so here's what you can do with the new version of VisMe you can actually go down to the bottom and then go select border properties 
So let's show you how you can do that. And I will say solid. And what I will do then is add some vertical padding. So there's some vertical padding to the button. I will add a little bit of horizontal padding. So there we go. And then what I will do is apply an actual fill color. So for the sake of uh, cleanliness, this is a pretty dark background. So I'll go ahead and apply a pretty dark background. So there it is. In just a matter of a moment, I applied um, a border and a fill. But we have a couple adjustments to make. On the uh, color for the border, it's also very dark. So I want to make that into a lighter color. So there you go. You notice. And also, why don't we give it a little bit of a curve? So the way I can do that, I can either apply thickness to a button, but I think it would be nice if we keep it clean and simple. So let's just keep the thickness as one pixel. And the roundness, we give it just a little bit of a roundness. So there we go. All right. Now, in order to achieve this design very similar to what we have, you see I can actually size up or down. So I can do that. And I can also control the horizontal padding just a little bit more. And now also we want to go ahead and add a shape. Well, we have a really cool shape library. So I'll go ahead and just search for a cart. And there's all the different options I have. Let's go ahead with this one. And so there you go. I can put this here. And if I want to be consistent with the color of the text, I can go ahead and actually match to the color. So what I just did wasn't just a matter of about a minute. I created a button, but the button doesn't have an action. So if I actually go to preview it right now, you'll notice that if I roll over, it doesn't do anything. So how do we make it an engaging type of button? Here's how you do that. You click on your text box, and then you come down on the corner here where there is something called link. If you click link, here's I can add, where I can add a uh, link. So I, let's go ahead. I want to take people to, I don't know, Amazon.com and I can tell it to open in a new window and by the way you can also do different things such as if it's a presentation take them to another slide but if for the sake of uh, simplicity here as an example we're gonna link and then I will say apply link so now if I go and preview my content you will notice that I actually the mouse hover has changed and if I click on it I will be taken to amazon.com in just a matter of a second because what I did was I applied a link to that. And you can do the same with every single object. You could even apply a link to this object if you want to, but it's much easier to just apply it to the entire thing. This is very helpful for conversions. Now, next thing, let's go ahead and also show you one more item that you can do. So you have text, but the beauty of the VisMe is that you can combine virtually anything. Um, so you can combine, for example, graphs, uh, charts and widgets. In this case, it's a little widget that's been created here. Uh, we have a big shape library and icons. So let's go ahead and create this into, a, let's say, more of a banner format. And what I can do is just move this shape here. And by the way, if this was sitting over my object, say, like, such as this, I can always go in to the layers and just move it towards the bottom. Okay. So I'll move this here. It's a little bit small, this banner. So I'll click on it and stretch it a little bit. Let's see. Go ahead and stretch this banner a little bit make it bigger and uh, enough so that I can go ahead and put this component here so let's say increase donations since our last campaign and I can go ahead and maybe make this object a little bit larger and it would be right there aligned with that now if I wanted to really get creative further what I could do is I could go ahead and put other shapes and so on underneath in that case I can tap into other objects um, and basically, so let's just show you an example. I could go to this object here and then maybe make this turn it around 45 degrees and go ahead and move it to the bottom. And if I want to perhaps do a color coordination, let's go ahead and match it to this color and then go to a lighter color uh, in our library. So this is how I can basically take objects and just move them into different corners and combine things and uh, balance them. So for example, I could take this whole object, I can copy it, and I could go ahead and do the same thing and create another object from it if I want to. So uh, this is a very quick example of just different ways that you can do that. You can combine different shapes in VisMe, you can create call to actions, extremely simple, and of course you can go ahead and just take any part of text and uh, visualize it into other formats. Uh, so check out our other topics for 
new features and uh, different tips and tricks.